Maybe you're a weekend warrior and you're coming off of doing a lot of yard work this past weekend. You know, it's hard work and it's a lot to maintain, especially when it comes to large yards and lots of weeds. That's right. But there's a new service in Florida that's doing that annoying job of getting rid of the unwanted plants in an environmentally safe way. They're doing it with goats. New 6 at 9's Carolina Cardona shows us how their grass grazing gets results. This is Aramis, that's Athos, Pebbles, Sprinkles, Butterscotch, Jingles. They are a team of Nubians, Pygmy, Nigerian Dwarfs, and mixed goats busy at work. They just eat anything that's green. These are a very um, ecological way to come in, clear out the invasive stuff, and then you can come in and just get rid of what's left. Carol Etzkevis and her pack of goats are part of the Rent a Ruminant franchise. They're your go-to goats for land clearing and brush management. This is a very sensitive area. There's a chain of lakes that are surrounding, so you don't want to spray herbicides on these plants. They're currently in Windermere, where they were hired to get results for a residential area, concerned with the amount of unwanted plants that were taking over. As far as I know, be trying to make this into a green space so the residents can come and use it, instead of it just being overgrown, blanketed with all these grapevines that are just killing everything. In an email statement, the Association for Silverwoods community told us they chose this eco-friendly alternative because instead of having to use pesticides and chemicals, this herd of 25 goats can just chew away at those invasive species that were affecting pine trees and other native plants. They're killing the pine trees. They're just, they're just smothering everything. They've smothered everything underneath. If you look at the blanket of grapevine, there's nothing underneath it. Everything is dead underneath it. So once you get rid of them, your native stuff has a chance to come back up. So far, the goats have cleared more than 80 feet by 200 feet of space by eating grapevine and potato vines, even palmetto leaves. But before getting to work, Carol makes sure the animals aren't in danger. Before we ever put, ever put the goats on site, we come in, we do a site assessment to make sure there's no toxic plants. If there are, we either fence them off or remove them if that's possible. Once that's done, we come in, we bring in the fencing, and then we bring in the goats. She says the goats can get rid of about 90% of the invasive vegetation in one project. Once all this is gone and the, the canes rot, once they hit the ground, and I'll push them down so they're against the ground. Based in Mayaka City, Manatee County, Carol says they are the first rent ruminant in Florida and will drive a radius of 200 miles to get the job done. Carolina Cardona, News 6 at 9. All right, so that job that is, is supposed to be done story. by the end of the week. I know, they're nice. busy. <laughs> um, it's like a buffet, right? We were it's saying. all you can eat. It's so cute. And Carol actually sleeps there on site uh, for all the days that they're there to make sure wow. that the goats you have their say. food and water. Yeah, right. she's their guardian. I what like do you think, it. Jonathan? You into it? Yeah, I mean, I give me some goats. You Take can care find of the them weeds. on Facebook. There you go. Get them out there on the yard. I mean, Enjoy the weather. Right. Then you don't have to do the yard work. Just let them go. Yeah, I love let it. Them go.